Hello guys, welcome back to my channel where I make videos on travel, tech, kiteboarding and animal rescues. So we're now in 2023 and we're back at the same junction, which is Samsung keeps confusing users on how to use Google Voice Typing or Samsung Voice Input on your Samsung Galaxy phone or other device. I'd made these two videos over the last couple of years, but Samsung in its perpetual wisdom keeps changing the settings after almost every update that it does. So let's go into your messages app. If you start typing in a message and you want to do voice typing, so you click that microphone button, which is all the way on the right. And great, it brings up your voice typing dashboard. And this one happens to be Samsung Voice Input. But what if you want to use Google Voice Typing? So I'm going to pause the recording here. And it shows you a cog, a wheel cog on the center of your screen. So click that. And here you go down to, you can look at all the settings here. But if you go down to Voice Input, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I can choose Google Voice Input here. So you choose Google Voice Input and you're like, wow, this is so easy. I don't know what this guy was talking about. So let's go back to your messages app. I'm just going to delete all that stuff that I recorded. And now you're ready. You're like Google voice typing, but there's no microphone. So this is a problem that people have been having. They can't even find the microphone when they're in an app in which they want to use voice typing. What you want to do is go to your phone settings and scroll through towards the bottom, you'll come to something called general management, which you now see on the center of my screen. So you're like, great, voice input. Well, not really, that's just the languages. So go back and keep scrolling down and you'll see something called keyboard list and default, which is something that I covered in the previous video. But again, the settings have changed thanks to Samsung. So you click that. Now you notice that your Google voice typing is disabled. This is the problem. So enable it. It asks you a question. Don't worry about it. And now when you go back to your messages app and you want to type in a message and you press the microphone button, wow, it takes you to Google voice typing. So now you're actually using Google voice typing when you're doing voice typing. So let's go back and look at settings, the cogwheel right here in the messages app. And here you'll click voice input. So this setting is different from your phone settings. This is the settings just for the Samsung keyboard. So now you see that Google voice input was selected by you in the previous step. And then you've gone into the phone settings and chosen Google voice input. If you click Samsung voice input and go back to your conversation, delete all that stuff and click that microphone, which is now on the right hand side. We're now in the Samsung Voice Input dashboard, which may or may not be what you want. So let's pause the recording, go back here, go into the cogwheel for the settings for this particular text messaging app, go to Voice Input, choose Google Voice Input, go back to your Messages app, delete all this stuff again, and click the microphone on the right hand side. Great, now we're doing Google Voice Typing. Okay, at this point, I want to show you something really cool. Once you've done all the heavy lifting, now you have a shortcut. You see the navigation bar at the bottom of your phone, and at the far right, you see dots in a rectangle. That's called a keyboard button. So you go ahead and click that. Now you've got the option to toggle between Google Voice Typing and Samsung Keyboard. So you click on Google Voice Typing, and now you can see that we're using Google Voice Typing. Let's go back to that keyboard button. And if you click Samsung Keyboard, What's going to happen if I click on the microphone? I'm still on Google voice typing, which is actually a great thing because Samsung is letting you choose Google voice typing and let it remain that way. Hopefully you never know with Samsung, but if you want to go back to Samsung voice input, click that rectangle or the keyboard button and click the cog wheel next to Samsung keyboard, go down to voice input as we've been doing before, click Samsung voice input. Go back to your text messaging, go ahead and delete all that stuff, click the microphone button, and now you're in Samsung voice input. Click the keyboard button dots again on the bottom right. You've got Google voice typing and you're good to go. So really a very important thing for you to do 
is to make sure that you've gone into the settings of your phone and you've chosen to enable Google voice typing. You'll see that Samsung voice typing is not even an option on this settings menu, which used to be the option when I'd made my last video. Samsung has now baked in Samsung voice input into any voice typing on any app on your Samsung Galaxy phone. But now in 2023, you know the trick. Make sure that your Google voice typing is enabled when you want to type anything for which you require Google voice typing and you want to avoid Samsung voice input. So I really hope that this video helped you and I'm sure Samsung is going to change the settings again. So at that point, I'll make another video. So come back and watch the, the different travel videos or tech or animal rescue videos that I've been doing over the past few months.